this is a project that I've been working on for two years. And I'm talking about two hard grueling years. Big. Big. You gotta understand, this is the first time 13's ever done a signature series product. Woo! Now we got the signature club, baby! Woo! So we're only gonna do this one way, and that's the best way, the best way we can. fish with it at the tournament to know that I didn't change anything when I got home. The adrenaline, the hook set, the abuse, day in and day out, rough water rides. From Guntersville, Alabama, the incomparable D-Man, Gerald Swindoll! The process ain't pretty. It, it, it wasn't pretty. It ain't supposed to be. Uh, time and time again, um, guys will get to work with somebody else like, hey, we'll do some signature series rocks, we're just gonna throw your name on them. But it didn't take me long in fishing to say, you know what, I don't really know if I want my name on it unless it lives up to my standard. And there's a lot of that in the industry where they just throw somebody's name on there, you see them in the store, but they've really never been tested by that guy. They've never been built from the ground up by that guy. They didn't start from scratch nothing against anybody, it's just how that happens, and I didn't want any part of that. Working with Gerald, it was a unique experience, and he's definitely different in how he thinks about fishing reels specifically. I mean, this guy grew up swinging hammers, framing houses, it's a big deal. Like, uh, you know, it was really important to him that we create a series that, you know, the every man can afford. I like the fact that when I work with Matt with reels, he challenged me. He didn't roll over. He didn't give in. And I liked that because of what that told me right then was he believes in his stuff enough to argue with me to believe in my stuff. So when you put the greatest of both worlds together, I knew where we were headed. What it turned into after a while between you know Gerald and myself and, and Ricky was uh, you know a really neat relationship where uh, we all brought something to the table and, and and seeing him smash fish like he did at Lake Fork. Twenty one four, wow. another member of the Century Club. On these prototypes, knowing full well that we're still in the process of refining every detail. I mean, this is a a product development guy's dream. <laughs> Through the process, Gerald absolutely knew what he wanted. But trying to get there was a little bit tricky. I look at Ricky. Ricky's a freaking stud fisherman. Knows how to catch him. Dig it. But yet, Ricky's the guy that can sit down and listen and say, okay, so talk to me about open water chatterbait fishing because it's not something that we do a lot here. So Ricky was the guy that could take his knowledge of fishing, your knowledge of fishing, and combine them. He never said, no, that won't work and I liked that. Matt never said, no, that won't work. He said, let me work on it. Let me work on it and get back to you. The years of experience that he has, he has created his own system. I mean, that's what it is. There's rods in this line that are specifically built for his style and how he's gonna teach to that style. He's got a story to tell and a reason behind every action and every skew in this whole lineup. Let's form a team, not just a team. Let's form the best damn rod building team we've ever had. I look at 13 as the brand that looked at me and said, we believe in you. And, and, and I'm looking at them going, you're the first company I've ever worked with that I truly believe would take that chance and do this and let me have part of the steering wheel and drive this bus together. So I don't want to let anybody down. <laughs>